said what you're going to need is a screwdriver, your PSP, just a regular battery, and just some any type of tape. I'm just using cable tape here. I think it's yeah, electrical tape. Um first, you see mine's already taped up. But what you're gonna do is take your screwdriver, use like a flat head or something or a knife. I'll show you here. Tape off. Yeah, you see along the lines here, you're just going to cut along there pretty firmly. It might take you a little bit to get there. Um, on this side, where it has the bump here, on this side here is where the motherboard is located. So you want to be careful cutting there so then you don't screw up anything inside. Okay, so once you get it open, it'll look like this. Um, I'll show you a picture on where to cut the wire because it's quite blurry. But you cut right there. Be careful to don't cut any of the wires surrounding it. Just cut that one wire where I have it circled in the picture. Otherwise, um, it could think that wire right above it is the main power supply and it could cut it all off if you cut that. So be careful when cutting it. So when you're done, put it back together, tape it up. Oops. Okay, now that you have it taped up, take the back off of your PSP. And this is to see if you've made a Pandora battery or not. So to see if you've made it. Now you put the battery in. To see if you've made it correctly, the green light should automatically come on. If it has, congratulations, you've made Pandora battery. Get that later. Then what you want to do, you'll get a screen like this. And you want to click Install 401M33. Now, you need a magic memory stick to do this. And I'll have a video next on how how to do that. Um, but after you click install, it'll say formatting flash one, and then it'll install it all for you. And once that's done, you have custom firmware. So now I'll just make a video on how to get magic memory stick. And thanks for watching. I uh, hope this helps.